Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss how to configure security role in Dynamic 365C. So, I am going to talk about how we can configure a security role within the CE application as a system admin. So, by configuring means you can create a new security role or you can configure the existing security role. By changing the details or changing the privileges, and etc once it is configured as a system admin you can assign it to a set of users or a team and etc so what are security role security role is a set of privileges and access level using which we can assign that role to set of users or teams so that they can perform certain operation in dynamic 365 customer engagement what are the privileges in security roles? Security roles provide different privileges like create, read, write, delete, append, append to, assign, and share for all the roles defined in the system. So, create enable a user to make a new record. A user can create a record depending on their access level. And read enable a user to open and view a record. A user can read a record depending on their access level. And next one is write. Enable a user to make changes to a record. A user can edit a record depending on their access level. Delete. Enable a user to permanently erase a record. A user can delete a record depending on their access level. Append. Enables a user to associate another record to the current record and append to enable a user to associate the current record to another record and assign enable and assign enable a user to give ownership of a record to another user a user can assign a record depending on their access level and the share enable a user to grant access to a record to another user so in the system as you see the privileges it is look like that create, read, write, delete, append, append to, assign, share. And the next one is what are the access level in the security role. Access level defines the depth at which a user can access a particular entry type in the organization. So the levels define none means no privileges given and the user basic means which will be given to the record owned by user and the team to which the user belongs to and the business unit local privilege to record owned by the business unit to which the user belongs to and the parent D privileges to the record owned by the parent business unit to which the user belong and the child business unit associated to that business unit and the organization Privileges for all records in the organization regardless of who own it. So it is look like in the system like user, parent, child, business unit and organization, business unit and none. So it is look like that. Now go back to the system. Now navigate the setting area. Then click on advanced setting. After that, click on the settings drop down. Now, as you see here, the security, click on that. Now, as you see multiple item, then click on the security role. Now, we'll navigate security role over here. So, there are the list of security role available in the system. If I will open activity feed security role, click on that. So this is the role name that is activity feeds and the business unit it is belong to. Then as you see the tables here, so I am showing the so old tables. So there are multiple table here, business management, business process flow and the core reports over here. 
then you have the set of core records and the privileges and on the different table you get the entities so this is the core record and we can see the list of entities over here and i am also telling about the privileges so now create read write delete append append to assign share etc if configure the security role over here a user to this particular security role on the privileges on that entity now as you see here these are the three dimensional first dimensional we have the entities as rows and then eight privileges are column and then these option we have the access level so first go back now i will show how to create new role as you see on the top of left plus new role button then click on it now here give the role name and then click on the business unit drop down so it is come by default then click on it and in the members privilege inheritance i will be use direct user basic access level and team privilege then click on save button so new security role is being created once security role is created then configuring the privileges and the access level so in the tables i am showing so all tables now i will go to the core records so here as you see here the core records then click on the drop down and keep the access level so here i am giving the organization on create and then go to the account then i am selecting the business unit organization parent child business unit so configure each of these if i don't select anything over here means that this user does not have any privilege to perform up and row operation and assign operation etc so in the same way i can just configure whichever record i want to then click on organization once you have any requirement with you then it is help to look what this particular security role or a user with the security role should do and it is based on that you can configure each of these privilege then go to the next table and select it then give then select as organization select as organization then select as organization like if you want to hide any privilege here then click on the configure column view drop down and unselect the privilege you want to hide for example i am unselect the delete now as you see the delete privilege are not there if i am clicking again column if i am clicking again configure column view then click on delete so now as you see here so if you want to see complete column name full so of the compact grid view now as you see the complete name over here so copy table permissions means 
to streamline the process of setting table privilege in your app you can copy permissions from one table to multiple others and the miscellaneous privileges it means to permit a specific non-record task for example publishing articles activating business rules and the privacy related privileges permit integration download export of external data include excel report and printing so the second way of creating security role let us consider i need a copy of the activity feed security role open it now what can i do here click on the copy security role and now i am giving the copy name of the security role that is activity feeds Then click on copy button. Then go back. Now you can see here I have created the activity feeds new. So that is the copy of the activity feed. So open it. So if you want to change the privileges and the access level here, so whenever I need to remove it, so I remove it. So I don't need to start from the scratch. So it is easy way to copy any security role from another one. So there are the two ways you can create the security role. So in this video, I have covered how to create security role, what are security role and how to manage security role. Thanks for watching.